at that moment, it seemed like everything stopped, like the moment froze, and I could just see her walking in slow motion. I told myself, I want to be like her. I want to be like Natalie when I grow up. I want to be able to dress like her, and I want to have that kind of confidence. Do you remember that exact moment in your life when you understood exactly what it was you were passionate about? Well, I can tell you that I can remember that moment with extreme vivid details. Let me take you back to the year 1995 as an exchange student in a little town called Conroe in Texas. A senior year, I was quite awkward. I was an awkward teenager that time and I was trying to fit in. I was trying to find my place. So I was hanging out with other exchange students and I was probably eating something really unhealthy like peanut butter sandwich and drinking milk because I love milk, okay? <laughs> anyway, so we're having our usual conversation when out of nowhere, this girl, okay, she's in senior year, walks through the cafeteria. And I look, and I am so impressed by her. Let me try and recall what she was like, okay? Her name's Natalie. She was wearing a brown suit. She had a pair of kitten heels on. She was wearing a bob, okay? Her hair is brown. Very beautiful and gentle face. And she held a gavel. I said... Who is that? And they said, well, that's Natalie. She's the captain of the school's debating team. And she's actually just won a tournament. That gavel that she holds is her trophy. I was just wowed. I was blown away by this girl's self-confidence and how she carried herself. At that moment, it seemed like everything stopped, like the moment froze, and I could just see her walking in slow motion. I told myself, I want to be like her. I want to be like Natalie when I grow up. I want to be able to dress like her and I want to have that kind of confidence. So I told myself, well, buying a suit, that's the easy part. I can do that. But the bigger part there is having that kind of confidence to carry yourself. And I knew that was another part I had to work on. Then my friends continue to tell me, she's very smart. In fact, she's been admitted to Harvard University and she's going to pursue law. That was it. I had made up my mind. I knew what I had to do next. So coming home to Manila, I enrolled in university. I joined the debating team, okay? Because I knew that was a crucial step to really honing my communication skills and developing that, that kind of confidence I was looking for. At about the same time, I started experimenting with different fashion styles until I found the style that I was quite comfortable in. So there, that was the moment when I realized that I was passionate both about fashion and communication. I hope this story has inspired you to think about that moment and just relive when you realized what it was that truly made you happy. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you the next time.